Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to make modifications to your distribution lists. Uh, it used to be where Microsoft Outlook was uh, capable of making sure that you can modify your distribution lists. However, it looks like with the change over to uh, Office 365 Online and everything else, through that conversion, somehow we've lost that capability. So with this, we're going to just go right through the portal. And so I go to members.k12.sd.us to make sure that I get in click on members sign in and then I've put in Helen's name in here uh, and I already mistyped it I think I've got all the corrections so I'm gonna click on sign in there we go so right away as we get in here we get personal school stats support I want to be on the personal tab in the account overview and I click on distribution groups I call it a list I don't mean to confuse everyone on that but for the most part it's how you're sending out your email to your staff so here she's the manager of one list, one group. So with uh, with going into this, we go to add or remove a user from this group. Let's say uh, if I want to just remove someone from the group, it's uh, easiest just to do it right from here. And so let's say Beverly Dobbins, she's actually retiring this year. Thank uh, Thanks, Bev, for your service to the district. So we click on that. and I would submit pending changes to this group's membership so and done so I'm not gonna do that because she's not quite finished yet I don't wanna get rid of her too soon and, uh, I could but then it takes like a day for it to go through and then she'll get in tomorrow and she won't see anyone's email so I'm gonna hit cancel on that let's say I wanna add someone else that isn't in uh, in the district so uh, uh, the first person that popped up to my mind so let's say I want to I want to add his account to our group list, group uh, membership, whatever uh, whatever sends that email out. So if you want to call it a distribution group, distribution lists, that's what it is. It'll add that to that. So when you go into Outlook and you type in new email, SFSD, and it goes into the whatever list that I've got or group that I've got it gets me into that so if I was to type in all central search I might not have rights to do that so you get the point so I uh, go through that same process and uh, once I add account it asks me to submit that once I submit that I'm done so that's it for now thank you so much for watching if you have any other further questions uh, make sure you please reach out to me and as always if you like this content and have not subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel so you get further updates when new videos are added so take care and have a great rest of the day